All right, so let's start talking about joining tables. We usually have two tables, table A and table B. And if we want to combine them in one big table, then we can use join between them. The first thing to understand is that once we use join between two tables, then we have two sides. Table A gonna be the left table, and table B gonna be the right table. So now what gonna happen after we join the tables? All the fields from the left table will be at the output and then all the fields from the right table will be added next to it. So joins combines the fields or the columns of two tables. So now in order to do joins, we need two things. First, we need the key field. It is a field that you can find it in both tables. And after that, we have to define the type of join and we have to choose between four different types of joins. We have the inner join, the left join, right join and full join and if you know sql then you know those types it's exactly the same logic but let's have a quick examples to understand the four types of joins all right so now we have this example where we have two simple tables we have the customer's names and the customer's age and we want to combine them in one table because it makes no sense to have two tables about the customers so we want to make one customer's table and we want to combine them. In the first table, we have the ID and the names and the second table, we have as well the IDs and the age. So it's really easy. The key for this join is the customer ID. And now let's see the different output using those different types of joins. So let's start with the first type of join, the inner join. Inner join says the output gonna show only the matching rows from the left and from the right. So that means any unmatching rows will not be presented at the output. So let's see how this works. So the first thing that's gonna happen is that we're gonna combine first the fields. So first we're gonna start with the left side and then the right side. And now we're going to start matching the rows. We're going to start from the left side. Do we have the user ID one in the right side as well? So we have a match. So in both tables, we have the customer ID one. So this we're going to see it at the output. And then we proceed on the left side. Do we have customer ID number two as well on the right side? You see, we don't have it. We have only the customer number three. That means two is not matching on the right side. And as well, the customer three is not matching on the left side. So that was it. If you use inner join in this example, you will get only the customer ID number one since we find it in both tables. Okay, so let's go to the next one. We have the left join. Left join says we gonna have everything from the left table without checking anything but from the right table we're gonna have only the matching rows so if we do left join between those two tables we're gonna have the following output so first we're gonna have the fields from the left table and the fields from the right table near each other and then we're gonna have all the customers from the left table without checking anything so everything gonna be presented over here those two customers and then from the right side we're gonna have only the matching rows so that means do we have the customer id number one on the right table yes we have it then we're gonna have it at the output but the customer id number two we don't have it at the right table which means it's gonna be empty and empty means nulls. So here we're gonna have the values of nulls in both of the field ID and as well in the age. And that's it. This is the output of left join. All right, so now we're gonna move to the next one. We have the right join. You might already understand how it works. So we're gonna have all the rows from the right table and only the matching rows from the left table. So let's see how the output gonna be if we do right join between those two tables. As usual, we're gonna have all the fields from the left, all the fields from the right, and we're gonna have all the rows from the right table without checking anything. So we're going to have those two customers and then we start matching from the left side. So do we have the customer number one? Yes, we have it. So we're going to add it over here. Do we have the customer number three? So as you can see, we have only the two. That means we don't have informations and we're going to have the nulls. So those going to be empty. And that's it. So it is exactly the opposite of the left join. And now to the final type of join, we have the full join. Full join means everything from left and everything from right without missing anything. So let's see what's gonna happen if we have full join between those two tables. So as usual, we start with the fields. So from the left and from the right, and then we take everything from the left side. So we take those two customers, 
over here. And from the right side, we're going to have the matching rows for those two customers. So for the ID number one, we have this one. But for the two, we don't have any matching rows. So we're going to have nulls over here. But as you see, we don't have everything from the right side. So the customer ID number three is missing. So that's why using full join, we're going to have those informations over here. And then we're going to match it as well from the left side. So do we have any customer number three on the left side? We don't have. So that means we're going to have nulls as well. So now by checking the output, you can see we have everything. All the data from left all the data from right and where there is no match we're gonna have nulls so as you can see you need to be really careful with the type of join you are using because using the wrong one this could cause of losing data and if you want to be safe and you don't want to lose any data then you have to use the full join but sadly full joins are very slow and you're gonna end up having very big tables especially if both tables have a lot of unmatching rows And now I want you to understand how joins works in Tableau and what can happen in the background once we join tables. So we have the data source, we have the visualizations, and inside the data source, we have the physical layer and the logical layer. In the physical layer, we're gonna join both of the tables A and B. And once we do that, Tableau gonna create one new combined table a and B in the logical layer. This table, we call it a logical table, which contains data from both tables. And then in the visualization layer, let's say we want to select the fields of F2 and F4. So Tableau gonna query the data source and the data source gonna get the data from the new combined logical table AB and then send the data back to the visualizations. So as you can see, the interaction between the visualizations and the data source gonna be at the logical layer. So the physical layer are going to be completely out of the picture and that's simply how joins works in tableau all right so now how we can do joins in tableau let's say that we want to join the table customers with the orders so first we're going to go to the left side over here drag and drop the customers and the join is going to be done at the physical layer so we have to go there so let's go inside the customers and now we are at the physical layer and we're gonna take the orders and just drag and drop it over here at the empty space. And with that, Tableau as default gonna create an inner join between the customers and the orders. And if we want to customize the join, we're gonna go over here at the icon and click on it. And we have here two things to do. First, we're gonna define the type of join. As we learned, we have the inner, left, right, and full outer join. You can just click between them and see which data are gonna be missing and which data can be presented as the example that I showed you. So I'm gonna stay with the inner join. And the next thing is that we're gonna define the key for the join. So Tableau did understood there's customer ID from the left, there's customer ID on the right, and this is the perfect match, which is correct. But let's say it was wrong and you want to choose the correct key for the join. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the left side over here, click on the arrow, you will get all the fields from the left table and select the correct one. In this example, the customer ID is correct. So I'm gonna stay with it. And you'll go to the right side. You have as well the same icon over here and you will get all the fields from the right table and you select the one that suits you. And one more thing, your key for the join could be not only one field, it could be multiple fields. So you can add more fields over here. So you go to the next row and select the next field for the join. But in this example, we have only one key so i'm gonna close this we have set up the joins we're gonna stay with the inner join and we can go back to the logical data model and as you can see the table over here has an icon of join it tells us that this logical tables is a result of joining two tables and that's it this is how you can do joins in tableau all right so that's all for joins next we will learn the second methods how to combine tables using union